for some reason decided I wanted to be an engineer and I was about halfway through my engineering degree at Texas A&M and I, I realized I just really wanted to be more in touch with people on a daily basis and I uh, did some volunteer work in an ICU and, and, and really enjoyed it and really just submitted my decision to become a physician. My first experience, real experience in, in practicing medicine uh, was a preceptorship that I did out in West Texas uh, between my first and second year of medical school. And it was with some doctors that uh, did a lot of uh, general practice but did obstetrics as well. And I got an opportunity to deliver some babies with them and, and just found that to be such a joyous and uh, life-changing event in people's lives that I, I was really attracted to it. Embracing a lot of the technological advances that are out there uh, really can bring some tremendous benefits to my patients when it comes to gynecologic surgery. You know, when we t t can take a hysterectomy and take it to an outpatient or a 23-hour observation uh, procedure and get patients back to work, sometimes within a week, uh, that really alters uh, the calculation when it comes to whether or not this is something that they uh, would benefit from immediately. I like to really engage them, I like to really know about their families, know what's going on in their life because frankly it's hard for me to know as a physician what kind of recommendations to make sometimes without knowing those things. If I don't know what's important, it's hard for me to address it. But the most common way I decompress these days is getting out in my landscape and my garden and just digging or weeding or there's always a sprinkler head to work on or something like that. And my sons are very involved in athletics and as they get older that just becomes a, a bigger and bigger part. I have two dogs. I have a, a, a Brittany Spaniel that's getting up in years and she's really more of a lap house dog than she is any, anything else and then I have a uh, a yellow lab and I'm a big duck hunter and she's a great pet and a great hunting companion as well. Since I had children, it's like, you know, I'm used to my patients getting emotional and crying from time to time and delivering the baby and then breaking out and crying, but for some reason now, when those first time dads, they're just these big guys, just break down and turn into blubbering idiots when they're when they see their newborn child the first time, I just lose it and I'm usually sitting there trying to do something in my eyes tearing up and it's just a great thing and it, it's the part about being an obstetrician that pays me much more uh, than I ever thought it would.